many people tuning in to watch this evening's, May 13th, Eurovision Song Contest Grand Final were left furious at the BBC over trouble hearing host and commentator Grand Norton. One viewer called at Evil Stepmother posted, Someone turn Grand Norton's mic down please, it is distorted, sick. A second at mostly underscore grumpy wrote, it's in Liverpool but the sound department have decided Grand Norton should sound like he's presenting the Moscow Olympics from 1980. Hashtag BBC Eurovision Hashtag Eurovision Hashtag Eurovision 2023 a third person at Elsie Crowfoot tweeted, Don't think Elle can stand four hours of Rylan. Mel is great though, but Graham Norton sounded like he was commenting from the bottom of the Mersey. User at Mandy Top Totty posted, At go turn Graham Norton up, we can't hear him over the background hashtag Eurovision 2023. While at Gutori was simply wrote, can't hear a thing Graham Norton is saying, sick. The complaints came Graham served as both a host and commentator this year, sharing his dual role with Mel Gedroich taking over from time to time. Graham presented the show alongside Ted Lasso actress Hannah Waddingham, Britain's Got Talent judge Alicia Dixon and Ukrainian singer Julia Sanina. This year's contest took place at the Liverpool Arena as the UK hosted on behalf of Winners Ukraine. Don't miss. King Charles has regrets over Prince Harry's coronation invite, insight Camilla confronted over title at highly charged coronation dinner, update Timmerdale's charity forced to address unfinished business with Matt, latest, this evening saw entries from 26 nations performing their songs in the hopes of winning the competition. The show was closed by the UK's May Muller and the track I Wrote a Song. Sadly, the UK were outsiders to win to this year's competition with odds of 81 from Paddy Power and 51 from Bitway. This was followed by a stirring selection of musical entertainment as the votes came in. The frontrunners were Sweden's Lorraine with her song Tattoo and Finland's Kara Ya with his entry Cha Cha Cha. Another late contender was Israel's Noah Kirill with her poppy track Unicorn. The pop princess was left in tears following her energetic performance, which got a raucous reception from the audience. Whether she can clinch victory remains to be seen with Laureen still in pole position, 